What's going on with this wizard? I don't know. Goofy. I hate you. <laughs> Constantly grokking my flavor, Goofy. Oh, whoa, I'm in a bubble. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Disney Magical World. Last time, we opened our very own cafe, and I'm going to go check in and see how Cafe Le Goof is doing now that uh, it's up and running. We got to go talk to the cafe manager. Let's see how things are going here. Serving pancakes, serving little shakes. Looks good. We got a few customers, including a weird rabbit princess. Hello. That person looks kind of evil, but it's all right. We don't discriminate here. Hello, the cafe is finally open. I'll do whatever I can to help keep this place running smoothly. When you're ready to take on some work, just let me know. Mm, okay, so we can take a request. We are a popular cafe owner, so we have to fulfill requests. Raise my owner level. Sounds good. All right. Let's see what we have to do in the cafe request. Cook up something new. That guy is terrifying. He looks like a ventriloquist dummy. Manager here. Let's do our best to turn this cafe into a happy place. First, try making some sweets for the customer. All right, let's do it. How do we make these sweets? We're going to make a new dish, and for the first time, we have to we have to spend coins to make it. All right. Let's see what we can make. Air puff cookies? That sounds good. We can make snacks, different stuff. If you're running a cafe, you've got to serve sweets. <laughs> Light meals, drinks, and sweets. That's what a cafe is all about. Make these people fat and happy. Why don't you try adding some delectable sweets to the menu? Look at that guy with the wig behind me. He's awesome. I want one of those wigs. All right, let's try to make a sweet here, if we can. Let's see. Cafe de la Goof. I want to make a sweet. Ready to do some work? Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's make some sweets. All right. I'll have to look at my request list, and we are going to cook up something new. Oh, we already accepted it. Let's go up to this thing and cook when you're ready. Okay. I'm ready to cook, man. Let's do it. Let's make it. <laughs> okay. We already looked at the request thing. There we go. Food. And we're going to make a sweet, finally. Wheat flour and aromatic nuts. We have enough to make this. Let's do it. Air puff cookies. Go ahead and make it up. So we can only have one item of each thing. Throw it in that weird alchemy pot <laughs> and cook it up. Nice. There we go. Yeah, that guy's creeped me out a little bit, but he's the cafe manager, so he's probably a good guy. New menu item. Look at them. They're floating in the air. That's how air puffy they are. <laughs> they're filled with air that they're floating away. So we made 50 of them. All right. And, uh, okay. I'm going to leave that there. Let's talk to him again. Let's keep working hard. All right. We're doing good. Hello, boss. <laughs> what else you got for me? Cafe jobs, what do you like to do? We did it. Okay. So we re fulfilled that request, and we our owner level already increased to a novice. All right. A uh, number of portions. Of, okay, so we can make more portions now if we wanted to. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's keep working hard. Aha, I think we might have gotten another sticker. That means we have access to another area. I noticed there was one for 13. And let's plop that on there. There we go. We're almost done with the prologue. <laughs> We've been uh, at it for quite a bit. There we go. I'm going to leave and go see what we can do now. Uh, now that we can unlock that one area, it's probably going to highlight it as soon as we step out. It's been a bit since we played. I wasn't sure if you guys were, uh, like, I wanted to see how many people were into the, uh, the series, obviously. Oh, Leticia! Hello, Adam! Oh dear, did I surprise you? It's been a while since I delivered the invitation from Mickey, right? We never get a, did get a chance to talk much back then, so let me introduce myself properly this time. I'm Leticia, but you can call me Letta for short. My job is to deliver letters and messages from one person to another. I'm sure we'll get along wonderfully, Adam. Oops, I nearly forgot I have a letter for you. It's from Yen Sid. Here, I'll read it to you. Yen Sid. I must speak with you. Please come to my tower. And that's it. Hmm, sounds like Yen Sid has something important to say. Master Yen Sid is a mighty wizard. Is this the Fantasia wizard? He lives in a tower west of the castle. Ooh, yep, so now we can unlock that. Let's go check it out. This is our first new area outside of the castle area. But as I was saying, I wasn't sure how many people wanted to see the series continue, so I took a little break from it, but it seems like enough people want to uh, have it continue. I wonder what he wants to talk to you about. Well, I'd better be on my way. These deliveries won't make themselves. Ta-da, Adam. All right, see ya. There's so many floating weird things. There's like a camera that talks. There's a letter that talks. It's a magical world here, of course. All right, let's go in to this and see what that wizard wants us to do. I hope he doesn't want us to like sweep with his crazy magic brooms and stuff that carry buckets. Let's go. Even if he did, that would be cool. Oh, can we get something from the well? We found another slender branch. That means we could make like a fishing pole again. I think we'll probably use that one pole until we get a better one. And I bet you can make like a better pool pole to catch better fish, stuff like that. Old rod, good rod, super rod, <laughs> like Pokemon. Ooh, we can't unlock that bookcase yet. This guy has always been kind of creepy. 
Uh, he's so mad. Thank you for coming to see me, Adam. <laughs> I'm a old wizard. Nah. Yeah, his eyes are always so mean. Whoa, he's giving me that thousand yard stare. <laughs> I am indeed the one who summoned you here. I would like to discuss the matter of the troublesome ghosts which have been appearing through the realm of late. These ghosts are a nuisance. Their tricks and pranks cause consternation all around and constipation. Thus, I must have been searching for a magic user who could drive out these ghosts once and for all. Only kind-hearted people who believe in their dreams can use magic. <laughs> Ever since your arrival in this world, I've used my crystal ball to observe your behavior. I've been peeping on you. <laughs> in your short time here, you have tried your hand at a great many things, and you have already done much good for many people. It is quite possible that you may be able to use magic. And so I ask you this, Adam. If magic is indeed within your ability, would you use it to drive out the ghosts? I guess. I feel like I should research this situation more before just trusting this guy. He has creepily long fingers. That's alright, though. Ooh, what is that? It's a crazy... That looks like it would really hurt someone if you accidentally flicked a spell wrong and hit him in the face with it. This wand will defeat the pesky things if you possess sufficient power to wield it. There is nothing to fear, Adam. Reach out and touch the wand. Uh, I'm gonna think about it a little. There's nothing to fear, Adam. Power of magic will only serve to broaden your world. Come, Adam, reach out and touch the wand. But thou must. That's like a dra There's a an old like uh, cliche with Dragon Quest where you get into these things where you have to say yes. It's like the but thou must conversation. Oh, what's going on? I can touch the wand. Oh, what radiance! It seems you do possess magic power indeed. This feels like Harry Potter. The wand is yours. Harry Potter! Beginner's wand, all right. Use your special power to help the citizens of the Fairland. And one more thing, Castleton is connected to other worlds, you see. Using your magic, you'll be able to travel between them using magic gates. First, visit Cinderella's world and speak to the people there. Those who have been troubled by the ghosts would be most pleased to have a magician like you up here to help them out. And with that, I shall open the gate to Cinderella's world. Oh, is that the one right next to this? Because it was kind of already open, you just couldn't go through it. Oh, yeah, it is. See? It didn't even have a sticker door. It was just... It's bizarre that they didn't put one there. Oh, it's gonna... It's like a magic portal. That's why. All right, let's go visit Cinderella, I guess, and drive out the ghosts that are bothering her. I wasn't expecting this... That we were gonna, like, go hunt ghosts. Go now, Adam. Do and do good. Go and do good. It feels like a... Like the Ghost Hunters Mickey thing. I hope they have, like, the little top hats and coats and stuff. And, uh, maybe Donald and Goofy and stuff will come help me fight them. Where's the door? There it is. <laughs> I should get out of my cafe uniform. <laughs> I'm still like wandering around. I'm a, I'm a humble cafe owner who's partially a magician. I also like go fishing with ducks. It's like I'm a jack of all trades in this game. Oh, it just saved. I want to get my uh, outfit set up right. Let's do a different little outfit here. Look at that wand is floating next to me. I'm gonna put on my baseball cap again <laughs> and do a bunch of different clothes here. How about some different top? Yeah, I'm, I'm all, like, decked out for the cafe, so I have to get into my ghost hunting gear, of course. You can save different outfits to, like, switch between them quicker, I guess, but let's do that. I'm gonna look like a little boy, like a little bug catcher boy or something, like a youngster, and then I, I'm good with my shoes. All right, let's go. We're ready for adventure. We're in our, like, touristy gear again. Hey, that just bloomed. Let's grab that. Purple Cosmos. All right, we're gonna step into Cinderella's world. And see what it's like here. We haven't really ventured far from Castleton yet, so hopefully this will be a cool new area to explore. But I did mention, yeah, I was I wasn't sure if people were uh, were wanting to see more of this, but it seems like there's enough people where I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pick this back up again because I was having fun with it, even just like seeing all the different silly st stuff that the game has to offer. It's been fun so far, and we're not even past the prologue, so I'm sure we're gonna unlock a lot more cool stuff. Cinderella's world. All right. Let's go find these ghosts. Whoa, this is pretty big, actually. Welcome, traveler. Our village is quite humble, but please make yourself at home. You can go north from here to reach the forest. Can I steal something from this? Oh, what's in here? Some type of grace lily seed. Hello. You must be new around here. Welcome to our fair town. She's got, like, a lot of makeup on for uh, such, a, like, a peasant with her little hair, hair cloth. Would you be my partner for dance practice? After all, I don't want to be clumsy at the next ball. So he'll do it. I guess. I have to dance. I knew you'd help me out. Come on, let's get started. Uh-oh. Go dancing! Okay, I'm gonna touch the icons on the touch screen and slide and sync. Is this gonna be like, uh, Oendon or Elite Beat Agents? Let's see. Oh no. I've never actually played one of those games. Here we go. Oh my gosh. First dance. We have to touch the icons and slide. Oh no. We're just kind of standing there awkwardly. Look at those blurry people in the background. <laughs> They're little, like, sprites. 
they didn't want to fully make them into 3D things. I touched it. Touch. Oh, I have to touch it. Blam. Blam. There we go. I'm not doing great, but I'm doing good. Whoa. This is getting weird there. Gotta go to the beat. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm not very good at this. There we go. I gotta, like, tap it and then slide. Like I said, I've never played one of these games before. So I'm, like, not used to this. I guess I did okay for my first try. Let's see. I did great, apparently. I got three out of five crowns. All right. I barely could pay attention to the dance, so I was trying to tap all the icons. Hopefully it looked good. You guys can let me know how my dancing skills are. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, little peasant lady. I have to go. That went very well. Thank you so much. Whenever you feel like practicing, just say the word. All right. I'm out of here. Let's see. We didn't get a sticker for that or anything. Maybe I have to get a better score. I can't believe this. Oi. He's even got, like, blush on. There's creatures scribbled all over the walls of my house. I'll just first wash it off. What a nuisance. Where are these creatures you speak of? These ghosts. I will hunt them with my magic. What a hassle this all is. Creatures keep showing up and causing trouble. They even taught my food the other day. All right. Let's go talk to this guy. Because it seems like we're going to head to the castle this way. Or the forest. Strange creatures have been sighted in the forest. You better stay out. It's much too dangerous. All right. I'm going to go in there and hit them with my wand. <gasps> That's why you're here? To get rid of them? Well, I guess you could go in then. Be, be careful. <laughs> well, be careful. All right. Let's get rid of these ghosts. Get the little black box back. Oh, wait. Little box back. Okay. We're going to go into the new area. Yep. we got to find a little box. What the heck? There's a sad-looking young man near the entrance of the forest. See what it has to say. Okay. Let's do it. So we're looking for some type of box, or... Oh, wait, what the heck? There's a sad-looking man. Is this him? Oh, the forest is brimming with creatures right now. It's really dangerous, so I strongly recommend that you stay out of there. I thought we just got a quest, but I can't go into the forest yet. Let me see. Here we go. Let's do it. Head out with recommended equipment. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we actually had to, like, select it and say we're going to head out. So you're going to clear out those pesky creatures? Oh, if I were to ask, I'm sure you could help. You see, I've been struggling with them myself. They've stolen something very precious to me. It's a little box tied with a box. I mean, <laughs> by the way, I missed it. <laughs> he didn't say box. Whoa, the ghost is goofy looking. Not like goofy. He's just weird looking. Hey, there's one. One of the creatures I was just telling you about. Please, you've got to get that box back. We don't get it to us soon. Oh, 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 no, nothing. Just get the box back for me, okay? Is he going to, like, propose to the lady that I danced with or something? He's going to get mad when he found out we were doing the old Charleston down there. Okay, whoa. Oh, we're actually going around and we're going to like hit ghosts with magic or something. Can I? Whoa, look at that. All right, we're going to go get this crystal. There's ghosts. They're so good doofy looking. All right, so we have to use our wand. We can hit it with that. We can consume one magic point and use special magic. All right, I can get them back. Okay, I'm going to try one of my special magic attacks. Blam! Take that. Oh, I'm going to pick up a crystal. Oh, he hit me. I gotta be careful here. I probably have a certain amount of life. Whoa! I'm hitting all the spooklets. <laughs> they are weird looking. They're kind of like uh, if the Pac-Man ghosts existed in the uh, the world of Nightmare Before Christmas or something. I gotta always gather all, all my little lilies and different things for crafting later as well. Okay, let's see. Ooh, there's a chest. Ah! It's actually a ghost. It looked like a mimic or something at first. There we go. It's a bendy box. Thank you. My guy's, like, more concerned about getting mushrooms and different stuff than actually fighting the ghosts. It's cool that there's actually, like, action-y stages. I was not expecting this. That's something that a lot of games that have this sort of uh, gameplay... Magic stones. Sean brought red. Hey, okay, this build up my HP and my magic stuff. I can zoom in and refill my health. Okay. Oh, if you hold up them... Okay, so if I hold on to enough of them, it says something good might happen. We've opened the fog gate. <laughs> we can traverse the fog. Uh, but yeah, um, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Whoa, what the heck are those? A little bit, bitsy beach block. <laughs> There's some of these names. Got some alliteration. But yeah, my, uh, it's, it's, uh, a few games like this. They did, uh, Har Harvest Moon's one that it comes to mind, because that's like a farming game where there's no action or anything. I've got a boss ghost. But then they made Rune Factory, which is like, adds combat and different cool stuff to that. So I, I wish they would do something like that with uh, with Animal Crossing or some of the games that have like more of a uh, laid back approach. It would be cool if there was some other stuff you could do. I should probably use one of my crystals. Where's my health? Is it the stars on the side? Or is it my magic power over there? 
I'm gonna grab this mushroom real quick before we hit the boss. Oh, jeez. Oh, nope, that's my health right there. I'm gonna use my magic crystal and heal. Okay, I thought my, uh, my thing on the, uh, on the left there was my magic, but I think that's my health. There we go, I'm gonna hit you, Poppin. I'm gonna hit you, Poppin, with my special magic abilities. He's stunned and he's dead. Look at all those crystals. Aha, we beat him. But yeah, adding kind of a little bit more intense action-y things to some of these games would spice them up a bit. But at the same time, games like Animal Crossing are very relaxing, and you don't have to worry about a monster coming out and getting you. At least, this is very segmented, so you're like, okay, now I'm in the uh, in the ghost area. It looks like we found the precious little box. So that guy can do whatever he's going to do with it. Uh, it might be a twist, and he's not actually got a ring in there. Clear quest, and a magic... Mysterious treasure chest opens. Oh, we have to use of our magic stones to open it. I hope we have enough, because we only have four. I used one to heal. Let's see. Oh, it used all of them, maybe. I don't know, but we did get a lot of rare material. Oh, it might scale with how many magic stones. Yeah. All right, let's do in the light gate and uh, jump in. Head back there. We have saved the forest. Yeah, this, uh, this quest was a bit more significant than I was expecting. All right, might get your hands on a different material. So we can uh, we can play them out multiple times. Look at all the stuff we got. All right, cool. Grab it all. Grab it all. Let's end our quest. We got a bunch of different loot from beating up all those little ghosts. Do you think the forest is like somewhere where the ghosts would be okay to live? Because that's like a place people aren't going that often. So how'd it go? Did you find the box? Here it is. I'm gonna put it on your hat. <laughs> Float above your head. This is it. All right, you found it. Like you. About this box, there's a ring inside. And that's what I thought. I was gonna give it to this girl I like. But I lost my nerve and couldn't go through with it. Then those strange creatures went and swiped it. I summoned all my courage to stand up to them, only to be sent right back home without that ring. So I'm glad you got it back. Thanks again. Better to use the courage on winning the girl than beating those creatures, right? I'll give her the ring, for sure, this time. Oops, I almost forgot I have something for you. Here, take this. It's a ring I'm proposing to you. Royal outfit recipe. If you head it in the forest, you should wear the right outfit. And this tells you how to make that outfit. So we can make a royal outfit? All right. Quest clothes. Oh, they increase your health and different stuff when you wear them during quests. That's pretty cool. Good luck with those creatures. I'll be cheering for you. So I should head back to Daisy's maybe and see if I can make this thing. Aha, we have a new episode available. Let's go see if we can make this uh, this outfit real quick and then we'll head back into the forest because it looks like we got some more ghosts to fight. We are almost done with the prologue though. We're going to go back to the boutique. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoy this and please let me know in the comments if you want to see more because I do want to continue the series, but I want to make sure enough of you guys are on board and you want to see more of Disney Magical World. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.